Good afternoon. I am reading today a book called A Remainder of One. This is a story about some insects who are marching in different ways, and there's a remainder of one in so many situations, and poor Joe, who's arranged uh, and left out oftentimes. When I'm finished with this story, I'm going to give you a few different tasks that some students can think about um, solving to help you to uh, continue to learn from this book. And this book could be designed for uh, second graders who are thinking about even and odd numbers, and for third and fourth graders who are thinking about factors of numbers, uh, and also square numbers. So um, enjoy the book. The story of Joe might just as well explain what happens to numbers when they must remain. After division and they are left behind as lonesome remainders, it seems so unkind. Drawn by an orchard of young apple trees, the sunshine felt hot about 90 degrees. So insects all scurried for any cool shade. From mushroom or leaf, they watched a parade. The 25th squadron marched past the bug crowd, bound and determined to make their queen proud. The troop had divided by two for the show. Each bug had a partner except Soldier Joe. You can see here, and here's Joe. He's left out. You might think about what are some equations you could write to represent the 25 bugs that are sitting here, or even thinking about the bugs that are in the two lines. Hup, two, three, four, we're in the 25th Army Corps. Queens count, two, three, we are the marching infantry. The queen wasn't pleased. We're unhappy to find that one soldier's left at the end of a line. A honeybee hovered above Lone Joe's head. The queen likes things tidy, the, beans, the bee sternly said. I'm sorry, Private, said Joe's Sergeant Stephen. You must stand aside so the troop will be even. The two lines of twelve then marched neatly away, while bug soldier Joe had no choice but to stay. Lone Soldier Joe learned it wasn't much fun to find himself labeled remainder of one. The brainy bug soldier stayed up the whole night. Perhaps one more line would make everything right. So one more line. We had two lines. We're going to make one more line. Now let's see if we can make three lines that are all the same. All 25 soldiers marched past the bug crowd, nervously hoping they'd make their queen proud. The troop had divided by three for the show. Each line seemed perfect. Then someone spied Joe. Up, two, three, four, we're in the 25th Army Corps. Queens count, two, three, we are the marching infantry. The regal head shook. It's disturbing to find one oddball bug at the end of a line. A slender mosquito loomed over Joe's head. Too bad you're a misfit, the pesty sharply said. I'm sorry, Private, said Joe's Sergeant Stephen. If you stand aside, then the troop will be even. The three lines of eight all marched neatly away, while sad and disheartened poor Joe had to stay. The oddball bug Joe, Joe knew it wasn't much fun to feel so left out, a remainder of one. Again, the lone soldier thought all through the night, with one more bug line, it might work out right. The 25th squadron marched past the bug crowd, anxiously longing to make their queen proud. The troop had divided by four for the show. The lines all looked even till they spotted Joe. There he is again. Hmm. Her Highness pointed, We're angry to find a tagalog bug at the end of the one line. A shy dragonfly fluttered over Joe's head. Now don't get discouraged, the fly softly said. I'm sorry, Private, said Joe's Sergeant Stephen. You must stand aside, then the troop will be even. As four lines of six marched neatly away, Sad Joe couldn't watch, for he had to stay. Poor Tagalong Joe didn't have any fun. Always left out a remainder of one. But hard-thinking Joe had the answer that night. Another line must make it work right. 
The 25th Squadron marched past the Proud Queen, the neatest best troopers that she'd ever seen. Five lines of soldiers with five in each row, perfect at last, and that's counting Joe. Good show, said Her Grace. Your rows are divine. We see no remainder to ruin your line. The troop took to great pride in their great skill at dividing. Joe was pleased he was there marching, not hiding. The coolest bug soldier beneath the hot sun, smart Joe, the former remainder of one. So here are some things to consider you might wanna do now that we've completed the book. If you're in second grade, you might wanna think about why couldn't they march evenly with two lines? You could go back to this page where they were marching and think about what's going on in this picture. And there's 25 of them. Why couldn't they march evenly in two lines? Come up with some equations to help us prove whether this is an even or an odd number. If you're in third grade, you might wanna think about what are the different multiplication and division equations that you could write to go along with this story. And if you're in fourth grade, you might wanna think about that 25 is a perfect square. The insects could march in five rows with five in each row. That makes 25 a perfect square. It makes a five by five array. What other number of insects could we have in this book that would make for a perfect square? And what would their array dimensions be? I hope you enjoyed the story. I look forward to hearing from you with your comments.